Now here it is. Um, a little bit more of a, a look at the intake manifold here. Anyone knows anything about flow, they'd know that all of that stuff sitting there is not um, not helping anything. Now, I have sprayed some dissolver in there, but obviously this is just beyond it. You don't really want all that stuff going through the engine anyway, I don't think. Especially if you've got a DPF and what have you. Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty thick. That's probably upwards of five, six millimeters thick in places. So we need to clean that out. And um, we're also doing the valve adjustment. These are supposed to be done every 35, sorry, every 30,000. But I'd, yeah, unless you're towing all the time or carrying heavy loads every day, then there's no real need uh, to do it that often. But let's call it, let's call it 45, 45,000. You should get the um, valves adjusted because these are pretty pretty loose. Um, like you can probably hear that rattling around, and yeah, not supposed to be not supposed to be that much uh, clearance in between them, and they're worse on the exhaust side. So yeah, we're um, <clears throat> going to pull this one apart and make it like new now you got to ask yourself where you're getting these things looked at because most places will just go yeah yeah I'll service it for you this much money um, but you got to do more than just oil and filter because this this here is obviously part of uh, preventative maintenance so yeah ask the question uh, do the valves need to be done and if they say oh no they don't need to be then chances are those guys don't know what they're doing so um yeah as you can see i've capped up all of the injector um entry points uh, as well as on the on the actual um high pressure fuel pump and it's absolutely paramount that you keep everything clean as anything get get rid of all the debris, dirt, sand, whatever that's around the engine bay before you start working on these things because um, yeah, I see some videos on Facebook and YouTube and people are just ripping this stuff apart and not not even considering all the contamination that's happening so yeah, there's a, there's a lot to this well, like I said, it's a pretty good car they go quite well um, if you look after them, yeah, obviously this is painful, but um, think of it as like doing a timing belt. And this is how, this has a change, so you don't have to worry about that. Although you do have to worry about the guides. If you um, don't like changing oil, they tend to flog out and wear out a bit quickly. This one here, I think that guide on the top there is only like $30 or something. And then the tensioner is um, sitting in the side here. That's one of the things that give these engines trouble but there's upgrades and updates to them so they're pretty much looked after now but um anyway bit of info for you there